wedding rings are the do not disturb signs for the dating world. My face seems to be doing the job perfectly fine. No need for a fancy ring. I still get hit on wearing a wedding ring. The difference is before I was getting hit on by single men, now I'm getting hit on by married men who are looking for something on the side with a married woman who will have to keep to quiet. Yeah, hard disagree. I have never been hit on so much as when I wore rings. For me it was the opposite. Before I got married 25 for first marriage random girls would never talk to me or seem interested. The week after I got married riding the metro to work girls would start talking to me. If I was seated they would ask to sit next to me and would talk. If me and my buddies would go out the girls would come and talk to me. It was like they either felt safe because I had a ring on or wanted the challenge. I have friends that would put on wedding rings and go out and get one night stands, they were not married. I have a tattooed ring on my finger because it's safer than a metal ring. Buddy and I were bar hopping in the ATL some years back and wind up crashing a corporate party at a bar close to our hotel. Some lady starts trying to flirt and sees my ring finger and say that's pretty permanent. I reply yes it is. Just like my marriage. Didn't stop her trying. Some people see the ring and think it's a challenge. The weird phenomenon I experienced when I was married was women will approach you to hit on you way more. IDK what that's about. Except sometimes the do not disturb sign is accompanied by a welcome mat. Ah, uh, so that explains why Arnold Schwarzenegger slept with the maid. He forgot to put the thing on the door rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. Ring or no ring, it's how you act that marks you as available or off limits. Except some people are only attracted to people wearing rings. Ah, uh, disagree. They're basically magnets showing that I've been vetted by someone and won't be around the next day, making messes for women to have to pick up after. I beg to differ. Back when I was drinking, I put a wedding band on when I went to the bar and I had a noticeably larger number of women showing interest in me. No one does married people cheat with other married people as no one understands terms and conditions better than them. You must not live in a military town. That ain't the case here. Cheating scumbags. This sign can't stop me, because I can't read. When she's single it's you against the world. When she's married it's you against one man. And for some messed up reason, some people see it as a target. It's a gross saying and makes me feel icky saying it but has a bit of truth to it rings don't plug holes. Not for a lot of women. That shit is just a co-sign from another woman that he has been vetted. I got hit on by women way more often when I was wearing a wedding ring. And they are like the signs at hotels become some people just ignore them anyways lol. I have a big fear of ring avulsion and I made myself and my husband stopped wearing rings. A few weeks after I asked him to stop wearing his ring he came home with his ring hand all scratched up from a piece of equipment at work. I knew I had just saved him from losing a finger. Most cheaters cheat with their ring on their finger so it's not like some kind of protective shield. I'm fully confident that my husband is not going to cheat and he's fully confident in me so we really don't give a.s about rings. I wear my promise ring on my wedding ring finger, because I don't need to be disturbed, regardless of marital status. I lost my wedding ring around New Year's and haven't gotten a replacement yet. A woman I work with and have been work friends with for years just noticed and started acting differently around me. I'm gonna see how far she takes this, but I'm not interested and I'm not leading her on. And sadly, motherfuckers still have the audacity to hit on married men and women. To me that's so disrespectful. Personally, it sometimes feels like they think someone wants him, he must be worth going after. I wish that were true. Seems to me it's more of a challenge accepted note. Why date a single woman, where you'll compete with 10 guys, when you can date a married one, and compete with one guy? My attitude is mine. Telling the last guy that wanted to take me out that it wasn't conducive to my lifestyle. 
I never wear mine. I'm not even sure where it is. I think my wife has it in a box in her dresser. Yep, Ring is doing its job, but not having one worked just as well. Fun fact some people prefer to sleep around with married people because they keep secrets better than those who are single. It's gross, but if some of you notice that flashing the ring doesn't work and might have even made them pursue you more that's probably why. For most people, but some people seem to think that's just difficult mode. Except a lot more PPL respect the do not disturb sign than whether someone is wearing a wedding ring. For the most part yes, however I noticed a certain demographic that was more interested once I was wearing a ring. I just got my ring tattooed on, but mostly because I'm a massage therapist and want to have a signifier that I'm not a single dude that got into the job to be a creep. OP is going to be surprised how little a ring will stop someone. If people only had the spine to respect the rings half of the time. So please clean my room means come in and make my bed and lie in it. In gay world it's an invitation to sex without fear of commitment. I'd also say they're the don't get disturbed, serving as a reminder that you aren't free anymore. False, they don't give a shit if you're a married woman or not. Because you don't need more towels when you're married. Because you don't change the linen anymore. Have you ever stayed at a hotel? I don't wear a ring and have been married for a long time. I can tell you it's not the ring that's stopping people from hitting on me. I think of it more like a warning sign for cliffs at a ski resort. I don't see a do not disturb sign. I subconsciously assume no one is interested in me anyway, so why bother? George Costanza never hung up a do not disturb sign to get a maid to show up, but did wear a wedding ring to get women. I was widely unwanted until I got married. Now that there's a ring on my finger I get hit on at least once a month. Feels like more of a lessee if I can pick that lock challenge. Replace do not disturb with no soliciting any you've got yourself a solid repost. I don't know why, but it seems like I get attention when I wear my ring and ignored when I don't. Can someone please explain this? They are not. People like to cheat and encourage or enable cheating. My husband says that since he started wearing his wedding band, more women flirt with him than before. I have a friend left over from my early twenties that actively pursued married men. To her, a wedding ring is a door to knock on. I get hit on by men wearing wedding bands all the time. Blair. Is there a way to tell? I mean I don't see a ring and instantly assume someone is married. Sadly the opposite for some people. They seem to consider it a challenge. Women used to make it evident before my ring. Now they hit on me through other people who tell me. Are they though? A lot of people I know take it as a challenge. For the record, it's both men and women on that list of shitty people. Not in my experience. They seem to be more of a ask me about my driving type of ornament. Do not disturb signs are the wedding rings of the hospitality world. I remember reading books as a teenager early 20s and there were so many situations where there was a woman with a ring on her left ring finger, and the protagonist knew to back off. At that time in my life it was so alien, like you can tell someone is taken at a glance. Post-college, it became an automatic glance, look at the left hand to spot a ring. I know they are, and yet as a now single person, I don't like the custom of needing to keep a ring off one finger to signify my availability status. Hold it, I thought wearing someone else's got me a free ride on Arwen's horse, damn it all in a volcano fire. Then consider me an untrained housekeeper who can't read English. They re a better guarantee for discretion than for virtue tbh. This is somewhat true. I have known a couple of women that see a guy with a wedding ring as more of a speed bump or obstacle than a stop sign. 